Education and making a balanced budget a requirement written in the state constitution were two of the main focal points for Republican Governor Mike Pence in his annual State of the State address. With the General Assembly also dominated by the GOP, the only question may be how many of his priorities he doesn't get in this legislative session. To proudly report that the state of our state has never been stronger. Governor Mike Pence's State of the State address Tuesday night was largely marked with a continuation and expansion of policies he's already pursued while in office. $300 million for roads and an expansion of the Healthy Indiana Plan. While his budget proposal is balanced, Pence wants to make it a requirement for all budgets going forward. And let me call all of us in this chamber tonight. Let's begin the process in this session of adding a balanced budget amendment to the Indiana Constitution and send this historic reform to the people of Indiana for ratification. But it was policies revolving around the classroom where he spent the bulk of his time. Let's agree here and now, Republican and Democrat alike, that this will be an education session of the Indiana General Assembly and we will improve our schools for all of our kids. Headlined by an increase of $200 million into K-12 education over the next two years, $10 million for scholarships for the pre-K pilot program, $63 million for teacher bonuses, which is twice as much as was rewarded this year, and $20 million for career and vocational education. But perhaps what may get the most scrutiny is his request to lift the cap on the dollar amount that choice schools get for voucher students and raise the amount of tax credits for families in the scholarship program. We must fund excellence, we must expand choices, and we must ensure that education in Indiana works at the very highest levels. Area Republican lawmakers say there were no real surprises in the speech. It was a good speech. It was um, straightforward and, and uh, again focused on the things that he's been communicating on um, consistently. The governor sent the message very clear to legislators tonight and that is uh, pro-education, continue to move choice uh, forward to the citizens and the parents of Indiana and uh, I look forward to being a part of that. Very much on track, what Hoosiers want, what the legislature is prepared to work toward. And I've had some good conversations with the governor in recent months as a budget leader uh, to try and prepare for this session. I thought it was well delivered um, and uh, I agreed with uh, some of it and disagreed with other parts of it, as you could imagine. But for the area's lone Democratic representative, Sheila Klinker would like to see some of the priorities in education rework, including an audit for the voucher program, as well as more of a priority on early childhood education. I would like to see uh, all day mandatory kindergarten paid for and uh, preschool for all children. Representative Klinker says she doesn't think a balanced budget amendment is necessary because it has not been a problem in the past. She thinks it's possible that it's just a political statement for a man who many think could run for president in 2016.